Today I'm going to taste a uh, whiskey that I didn't even know existed until today. This is Mellow Corn from Heaven Hill. I'll just state up front that um, Heaven Hill produces two or three of my favorite whiskeys. Uh, my favorite bargain whiskey is uh, Evan Williams Bottled and Bond. I think it's the, as far as I've known or experienced in my subjective opinion, uh, the best whiskey for the money, or the best bourbon for the money, anyway. Um, and then one of my favorite go-tos uh, when I have a when I want to spend a little more is the Evan Williams Single Barrel. I've never been disappointed with it. It's an amazing bourbon. Um, they also produce Larceny, which is one of the most popular bourbons in the country, and you know several other products. But I've never even I had never even heard of Mellow Corn, and someone recommended it. Thought I'd try it out. <laughs> we'll see. So this is, um, I think, 90% corn whiskey uh, aged in used Evan Williams barrels. So I like corn whiskeys, but I don't like unaged. This is bottled in bond, so it's at least four years of aging in the barrels. So <laughs> you can smell the corn on the nose. Sweet. Oh, man. It smells like creamed corn. Like if you just dumped out a creamed corn can and heated it up. It'd be, it'd be this with just a little bit of vanilla from the barrels. And a touch of spice, but not much. So let's see how it tastes. It tastes like corn whiskey. <laughs> it's not. It's not bad. Uh, it's sweet. It's corny. Those are the first things you get right off the bat. Just bang on the on the tongue. This is not a complex liquor. A little spiciness on the end and that probably comes from the the high proof you know it's a hundred proof it's bottled in bond just a touch of charcoal from the barrel but not much again on the even now on the nose I'm getting cream corn It's not too hot for a hundred proof whiskey. A little spicy. Mm. And then on the end, you get some of the oils and uh, some of that. Um, you do get just a hint of that acetone that comes with a lot of cheaper whiskeys, but not much. Just, I mean, you have to look for it. But really, I mean, this is corn whiskey. Um, there's a little bit of something there in the middle that I'm not quite identifying a little. I mean, it's not um, it's not empty. It's not an empty drink. There's there's some layers, but it's also not very complex. It's corn whiskey, four years in a barrel. Um, smooths out the edges and gives it a little bit of character and a little bit of 
um, a little bit more a little bit more complexity but not a lot I mean you know this is a cheap whiskey that tastes mid-priced honestly it's like I think I paid eleven dollars for a fifth and um, this is like a fifteen eighteen dollar whiskey uh, as far as flavor goes so you know if you're looking for bang for your buck this is this is a shit because it's totally drinkable neat in a cocktail it really blend in with a lot of cocktails and um, you throw some ice in it it'd really be an easy drinking whiskey and it's 11 bucks a bottle and it's a hundred proof so that's what you're getting.